We haven't made a YouTube video in a while. We're gonna make some breakfast. Yeah, just do a day in the life on one of my days off. We're gonna put on some bacon. I tried buying turkey bacon and it's just like, I like regular bacon a lot better. Turkey bacon is good. There's nothing like, it doesn't taste bad. It just doesn't taste like much and not the same crunch and it just doesn't have much flavor to me. Still good, but it doesn't have as much flavor as like actual bacon. So, I don't know. We went back to regular bacon for this week. You're waiting for the bacon? You think you're gonna get a piece of bacon? Oh, you're just too cute, buddy. So the bagel sandwich is complete. We got cream cheese on top, egg, bacon, cream cheese on the bottom. We get like a bagel sandwich whenever we go to the farmer's market and we're like, oh, this is so good. Why did we never think to just put everything together? It's really yummy. My favorite breakfast right now. So I'm gonna eat this and then probably get ready to go to the gym. Peggy, I cannot deal with you, boy. He is laying on the couch like this. I think it's because he wants the rest of my bagel that I didn't finish. So he's at a good spot where he can keep a good eye on it. Okay, so this morning I honestly did a whole lot of nothing. It's already like 12 or 1. So I'm gonna wait until Brett comes home and we'll go to the gym. But I tidied up the couch a little bit. I wanna make homemade cinnamon rolls and I've been talking to Brett about wanting to do that for like a couple weekends now. And <laughs> yes, Becky. First I'm gonna tidy up, get dressed, and then we'll go. So let's see how fast and efficient I can be. Okay, so I finished getting everything tidied up, but I made lunch because we're gonna go to the gym in a little bit. Looks like it's just chips, but I wanna do leg day today. I meal prepped some chicken teriyaki earlier this week, so I just have some chicken teriyaki over some jasmine rice, and then a few chips, a lot of chips. <laughs> but we'll see you guys when we get to the gym. First he said, uh, no, I'm doing back today. And I'm like, I already did back. And I'm like, come on. And he's like, I already did legs this week. And I'm like, when? He said, on Saturday. Saturday. I'm like, today's Thursday. That's valid. You could definitely do another leg day. It's time, right? We're gonna get some stuff for cinnamon rolls and go home and make those. But that workout was good. Y'all, I cannot find the cream cheese in Market Street to save my life. I got this drink and I thought I would try it with you guys. It's sweetened black tea, peach flavor, but it has like zero of everything, zero sugar. So we're gonna try it and see if it's any good. It's not too bad actually. I got this recipe from Kristen John's like YouTube video from a while back. I just looked up like Kristen John's like cinnamon roll recipe because I knew she had put one up. She said it's important that you sift your powdered sugar or else it can be clumpy. So I bought a sifter thing. I didn't even know that this existed until I watched her video. And I was like, cool, we'll try it out. <laughs> the warm milk in the bowl of a stand mixer. Well, I'd say let it go another 10 at least. Pour the milk in. You know, some bakers, they measure out their stuff before they do it. Me, I just do it. Well, Serena doesn't even hardly ever measure out sometimes. She made, not, she made shrimp the other day and didn't just winged it all. Yeah. It came out good. And then as you're whisking it or no? No. You just mix it all, all in together? Yeah. Two eggs. Oops. So we got our butter. Look at these flowers I got, Serena. I know. That was sweet. Serena, we just bought brown sugar. <laughs> <laughs> like, literally the last time at the store. <laughs> like, what was that? I that Five days ago? Mix it using the beater blade, but we don't have a quick, oh, what are those machines called? Those? Yeah, I don't know. The big colorful ones that everyone likes. Can they KitchenAid? KitchenAid. A few hours later. It's getting crazy. My wife's lost her mind. Okay. How come when the Cuisinart needs it, it doesn't have to be flat, like it can be in a bowl? Well, That's kind of weird. Oh, I guess I can knead it here. That's for when she rolls it out. That's what I was saying. Yeah, you can go get your pull and I'll just be kneading for about seven minutes anyways. I don't know what knead means. 
What about the stuff in there? You're just neglecting that little guy, this little guy in there? <laughs> Scoop it all off. It's all stuck to me, babe. I guess it's not that much. All right, so I finally got done kneading the dough, and that's how she's looking right now. So it says to cover with a kitchen towel, and we're gonna place her in the oven with the oven off, and just let our dough sit in the oven for about 30 minutes. So we'll check it, and I'll let you guys know if the yeast worked. And we'll see if it doubled in size, fingers crossed. Kneading the dough is hard. My arms were getting so tired, and I stabbed all my fingers. It's pretty fun though. Just makes like a big mess. I went to go get us Chipotle, so it's gonna be a good night. Okay, so I made the filling, and it's literally brown sugar, butter, and cinnamon, and you just mix it together, and you get that. Oh, I sure hope it did. <gasps> yeah. Did it? Well, I don't know. I don't know how it looked when it went in. I think it did. We're gonna get this out. We're gonna dump her. Yeah, right, here she comes. Ooh. Oh yeah, it must have rose. Look at it. Yeah, it looks good, right? Yeah. And then you want to spank it. Oh, really? Is that what you want to do? A little bit. You want to give it love like a baby. Do you spank a baby when they're bad? No, when you're petting them to bed, like... Shh, shh, shh. Okay. Like they got an upset tummy? Um, Ball. Let's just wait. Whoa. Put it on. You're going to let it rise with that in there? Yeah. What? Bakers must have like good forearm strength or something. They're getting bigger and crooked. <laughs> Looks good. Looks like a fish. It looks like a little cinnamon roll. You have to cover it. Why do you always have to cover it? I think it's just dark and shh, they go to sleep. Oh, they go to sleep. It's like a living being. All right, into the oven for another 30. 20. Okay, so the cinnamon rolls are done rising and that's this is how they look now they've definitely gotten bigger look like actual cinnamon rolls now we're gonna pour some heavy cream over the top of them this is what helps keep them like moist i guess them soak for a little bit and then once the oven gets to 375 we'll put them in for about 20 minutes so serena just ended up making one giant cinnamon roll that's how they're supposed to look <laughs> That's crazy. They grew a lot. They look good. Oh. I think they, they look burnt, but I think it's just the insides are brown. Yeah, like the like, brown part inside. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, like this is brown. But, but they like, feel good. But like they're in good. some good like stuff. a golden brown. Yeah. Okay, we finally finished the cinnamon rolls. And this is how they came out. Looks like a cinnamon roll cake, I told Brett. We're going to try these cinnamon rolls, let you guys know, and wrap up what I did today. This took about three hours total probably just watch football for the rest of the night i might watch a little bit more of made i watched made is it the made or made made when it first came out on netflix and i really liked it i remember like i liked watching it but i'm re-watching it now because i kind of wanted brett to watch it because i thought i liked it and i like completely forgot everything that happened i feel like like I don't know. I think I just don't pay attention in shows or movies in general, so I forgot everything. That's why I'm not a person that can ever recite lines from movies, because I watch it and then it just goes right out of my brain. So it's kind of like I'm re-watching it for the first time. Let's try it out. It's like cake is so soft. Mm -hmm. That's good. I want like more of the middle. Mm. It literally tastes like a cinnamon cake. Like a cinnamon roll cake. I could have done more icing. I think it's good. It's really good though. I like the middle. Mm, that's good. That's like a... It's soft. It's definitely like... That's what a cinnamon roll should taste like. Like a real cinnamon roll. That was good. I think that's it. I rated the 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. It was really good. And see, uh, the salted butter didn't matter. But I guess that's gonna be it for what I did in a day, my day in the life on one of my days off. It's pretty much what I do, not make cinnamon rolls, but. So usually when I have a day off in the middle of the week, I will clean, but then I usually will just stay at home and like lay on the couch the rest of the day. But today we actually went to the gym, cleaned, and I made cinnamon rolls. But yeah, my days off are never like too crazy. I don't really go run a bunch of errands or do anything like that. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me and we'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you give us a like and subscribe down below. 
Peace. Make cinnamon rolls.